Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I can feel the blessings of the Lord right now. And I'm going to get my blessing. Yes. you got to get your blessing. Nobody can get it for you. And you got to know the Lord to be able to get your blessing. And it's good to be in the right place at the right time Amen. and know what belongs to you. There's no sense in jumping up and down and shouting and running all around, falling down on the floor, spitting up, vomiting, and doing all kinds of crazy things and don't even know why you're doing it. But I know that I'm in the right place because I can feel the blessings of the Lord Amen. right now and I'm going to get my blessing. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you say. I don't care about what's already gone on in this life today. But I'm in the right place. Because I can feel the blessings of the Lord Amen. right now. Amen. And I'm going to get my blessing. Because you see, I need healing. And I need help. And I need saving from myself. Amen. I need God to show me the way because I've been lost already today. I'm in the right place right now and I'm in the presence of the Lord and I can feel his blessing because the Holy Spirit is moving down on the inside of me. It's whispering to me, no, don't go that way. Go this way. <laughs> Come on up out of that position there. I've got another place for you. <laughs> I've got a blessing for you that's just up around the bend. Don't give up now. You've come too far in your race. <laughs> I can't I call it now. I got a blessing for you. <laughs> it's waiting up ahead on your path. Why don't you come and take from me? Come get your blessing. Come get your blessing. I know you need a blessing today. So come on and get what God has for you. Don't wait for somebody to try to give you what God has for you. No matter what they give you, if they're giving it in and of themselves, it can't match the blessing of God. Amen. Now that don't mean he won't find somebody to use to deliver blessings unto you. Don't worry about getting confused over that. Just keep your eyes focused on Jesus Amen. and keep on moving ahead. Amen. You should feel yourself now getting into the presence of God. And if you are focused on God, whoever is in your path has been set there to bless you. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. I can feel the blessing of God right now, right now, right now. Amen. And I'm going to get my blessing. Amen. I don't need you to tell me, go on, because I'm going on on my own. I don't need you to point it out to me. The Spirit of God says, this is my gift for you, my child. I hear him. <laughs> He's calling my name. Amen. He's calling your name too. So you won't get lost. But if you are, so you will be found. That is, find your way back around out of that wilderness. Amen. Come on into the pastors of God. He's wanting to bless you right now. Can't you hear him calling you? You know when the music gets kind of loud or the noise of the crowd reaches a certain pitch. You can feel the vibration in your body. You know that you're close to the source. I can feel the presence of the Lord because I can feel the vibration inside of me. I'm getting closer to my blessing. And I want my blessing today. I don't want to miss what God has for me. And I don't want you to miss what God has for you. Walk this way. What way is that? Go straight to 
the word of God. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Don't even look down at your feet. Keep your head up. God's got it. God's got it. God's got it. Keep your eyes focused on him. Let him lead you to where you need to go. Can you feel it now? Can you feel it now? Can you feel it now? Working up on the inside of you. Getting closer. You might not be able to see it, but you know you're in the right place. You can feel the presence of the Lord. He's pulling on you hard now. So come on and go with me. Because I can only get what's for me. I want you to get what God has for you. Amen. Come on now. Let the Spirit fill you to overflowing. I'm in the presence of God now. And I want my blessing. And I want what God has for me. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's so difficult. It is so difficult difficult to maintain the right posture or positioning in your walk with God. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to those fools and those idiots that have millions convinced that it's an easy walk. Mm. That nothing but brighter days are ahead. It's as if They've gone to this word of God and pulled out page after page after page after page. And then they put it back together again and they're presenting you their book. Amen. But the word of God is true from Genesis to Revelation. Yes, it is. And it says that no man has the right to change a single thing. That's right. And that all of it will stand even if they tear the pages out. <laughs> this is what ought to make you feel a little frightened. <laughs> if they're taking the word of God and tearing the pages out and giving it to you and telling you that it's all in there, <laughs> they are making sure that you get lost. Even if you read it from cover to cover, you don't have the full presence of the word of God. Don't be deceived. Get all of the word because all of it is true. Right. God's got a blessing just for, you. just for you. But if you travel his path, you're going to have some dark days and some dog days. Amen. You are going to get weary, worn, and tried. You are going to want to throw up your hands and say, I just can't do this no more. But I want you to know that don't feel that you are all alone. When this comes up upon you, the word of God has already been written to tell you that these things which come upon you are common to all men and that in this life you're going to have struggles and trials but don't you worry God says he's with you Amen. that he will bear you up and that he's the author and the finisher of your faith. He knows where you need to be led to and he knows where you are lost. He has found you like he's found me and his voice has drawn us into his presence. Even when we cannot see him, you ought to be able to exclaim, I can feel the presence of the Lord. It's all over me. And then maybe you want to let out a shout. Because for you, it's just like fire down in your bones. You just can't hold your peace. You can't hold your peace. 
Jesus, no matter what your circumstances, for friends and relatives, they are abusing you in every which way. They can't understand that still you smile. They can't understand that still you say, can I help you? You can't, they can't understand that still you say, God bless you. Because they're not where you are now. Because where we are, though we cannot see him, we know he's here. Because I can feel the presence of the Lord. And it's all over me. Amen. It's just like the wind blowing out there. I don't know where it came from. And I don't know where it's going. But if I get caught up in it without a coat on, I can feel it all over me. God, like a mighty rushing wind, he has shaken my soul. But he has given me something to hold on to. He said, follow me. I will lead you to do that which is right. Come on out of that darkness. Come on out of that lost place. You are dead, but I will make you alive. You are lifeless, but I will give you a new life. Can you come and go with me now? Come on and go with me now. I know you want to, and now you just need a little urging. It doesn't mind, it doesn't matter sometimes that you have to be helped up to go word because the word of God tells us that within the body of Christ we're going to find people at different levels of growth and we are all going to come into some dire circumstances and we're not all going to walk upright each and every day of our lives but when you find a brother or a sister falling down because of a fault they might not have all the strength they need in themselves to get back up. But they don't need you beating them down. Amen. Where your walk is in God to give you enough strength that you can reach down where they are and pull them back up. You can help carry them with the love of God that's on the inside of you. Let God use your hands. Let God use your feet. Let God use your eyes and your mouth. Somebody helped you. Don't you think that you're standing here now all by yourself? God sent somebody who gave you his love. They look beyond your fault and they walk in the power and authority of God. They say, I see the need here and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover the multitude of their sins. I'm not going to go around talking about what they have done or where they have been. Instead, I got a word from God. The word from God is get on up, get on up, get on up and come out of your darkness. You don't have to lay down there and die. You can have a new life and you can be born again. You know, this is not at all like they would like to script it. They would like to script it as if everything is always going to work out just fine. They want you to think that at some point you're going to become this miraculously perfectly walking individual. As if somehow, as in and of yourself, you can do that which God says he wasn't going to do. <laughs> he said that uh, he wasn't going to remove the thorn from your side. <laughs> he said that his grace was sufficient. <laughs> that lets you know <laughs> that walking in life <laughs> with all of those imperfections, 
distractions and obstacles. That God has said, I still got it. But I need for you to remember who is the source of your life. If I take everything away, your head really would get big. But you need to testify of me that in spite of what befalls you, that you still follow me. That no matter how hard you get knocked down, you're going to get back up because I live within you. That no matter how you get turned around, that when you come to your senses, you'll come running back to me. And I will rescue you. And I've given you another promise. I've said that I'm going to guarantee you an abundant life. I will give you double for your trouble because you stood your ground. I'm not going to have you doing without this or that. Ah, yes, now, according to the fruit of your life. It's how you will be blessed. Don't worry about somebody else's planning field. That's not your life. And don't worry about the seasons that have already come and gone. Focus on today. The word of God says that now is the time. Now is the time. Get it right now. You don't have to stay dead. Come on into the light. Amen. Nobody likes anything dead. And God didn't create you to be dead. He created you to have a wonderful and marvelous light. That you might be a benefit to the body of Christ. Amen. Uh, come on now. Why don't you come on and go with me? Why don't you leave that place? Why don't you turn around? Why don't you tell God, have your way with me? Do what you want, God. I'm so glad that you found me. Because I'm telling you now, when you get in the presence of God, and there is a burning deep down inside, it can only be satisfied by God. Don't deny this need. Because he says you're going to be hungry and he's going to feed you you're going to be thirsty and he's going to give you drink you're going to need clothes and he's going to provide covering for you you're going to need a place to live and he says he'll provide the shelter for you but I know you think you've got much greater issues well he said that if you get sick that he he would be the doctor in your sick room. He said that if you get in a legal jam, that he would be the lawyer in the courtroom. He said that when it looks like all hope is gone, that he will be the judge. He is ready to give you more mercy. Leniency is on his plan. He intends to forgive you if you will just repent. So why don't you come on into the presence of God? No need to fear where you've been or what you have done. The presence of God is greater than it all. He says, here I am. Can you feel me now? Here I am. Don't you know I'm in your midst? You don't have to die like you are today. Dying is a continuous process that keeps you going away from God. You don't need to have this lead to its final eventuality where that great day is going to come and you won't be found written in the Lamb's book of life and the tears of God will be overflowing because the place he's prepared for the adversary was not prepared for you but he's not going to make you choose him he needs you to make the right choice he created you with free will that you might have the option to choose to be loved to step out on faith 
and become more than you can imagine that you can be. You can't do this while you're dead and separated from God. That's why I'm so excited now to know that I'm in the presence of God. I can feel him all over me. I want you to feel him all over you. He loves you just like you are. Dirty, muddy, sweaty, bumps and scars, bleeding, amputated, on the verge of physical death, breath stinking, hair messed up, raggedy clothes, no shoes, no money, just got set outdoors, car broke down on the interstate, got robbed coming from the supermarket, but God loves you anyhow. Realize you've been living a criminal lifestyle and just turn to God right now. Amen. He said it's all right. That's what I came for. He said all of those folks over there, they don't need me. I'm the great physician. I came for those who are sick. Come on in the room, my child. Let me bandage you up. Let me fix you up and make you over again as I lay my hands on you. Can you tell the whole world that you can feel my presence all over you? Because I feel his presence all over me now. He's touching me and healing all my broken spaces and places. And he wants to do the same for you. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Amen. The Lord God is desirous that you come alive. And that when you come alive, we know that you will feel his presence. Amen. It'll be all over you. Amen. But what we need to do, we need to look on God. Not on the people around us. Amen. Not on our circumstances. Not on the performances of individuals in and out of church. Mm. But look to God. For you are unique. And he has a perfect plan for you. Yes, he does. And that plan can go into operation at any time. The only principle that is preventing it from its fruition is you. Amen. God is not going to give you the blessings of your life. Because someone else does the work that you should do. Hmm. You must be born again. Amen. And only you have the right DNA. To receive the unique gifts that God has for you. So again, I ask you to focus on God. To allow yourself to come into his presence. To fill the room, your space, with the glory of God. Because he has a blessing just for you and today he's ready right now not later to turn your life around yes he is praise him amen in the name of jesus amen amen, amen.